It's also really important to build strength after a back injury to help you get back to being able to function and lift things well. So with strength, we might start you off with some gentle exercises such as a bridge to start to work on your glute strength. And then from here, as you get stronger, we can take it into a single leg bridge, which not only is gonna be harder on your glutes, but it's also going to start engaging your core to stop your other hip from dropping down as you perform the exercise. Another thing that's really good is to work on some core strength. So good exercise for this can be your side bridges, starting just holding yourself up, and this is gonna make the muscles in the side of your core work really hard. And from here, to make it more challenging, we can also add in some rotation by turning into a thread the needle. So just bringing your arm through and then coming up. And this will really challenge your stability through that rotation movement. Another really great exercise to work on resisting rotation is the Kaloff press. So for this, you're gonna have a band attached out to the side. You're gonna stand so that band's on tension and then you're gonna press your arms out in front. And while doing this movement, your core's gonna to have to work really hard to resist being pulled in with the band. As your back gets stronger, we want to get you back into lifting. So a couple of our favorite exercises for this are the Jefferson curl, which is basically a weighted curl down. So for this, holding a weight out in front, curling from the top of the spine down, like you're reaching down towards your toes and then curling back up. And if you're going back to the gym, we also want to get you back into doing movements such as the deadlift. So just as you would at the gym, keeping the back straight, driving the ground away from the body, breaking up the hips, lowering the weight back down, 